Hello everyone, welcome to Whimsy Creek Art. My name is Megan. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do a string pull on a dried canvas. So this is 11 by 14 inch canvas that I did about a year ago with just a simple swipe technique to make a background. I used crimson red and then I swiped some really light teal aqua color, some pearl, and some black through the canvas. I'm just going to use regular old yarn today to do my string pull. Oh, about 18 to 20 inch piece and then about a 12 inch piece. But you can just use any old string, any uh, chain, anything like that. So I'm going to do my string pull with a pearl white color. And the reason I'm choosing that color is that it's kind of a translucent color. And I thought it would give kind of a pop of uh, interest there on this kind of boring background. But it also is translucent so you can kind of still see the background through it. So I'm just going to set these aside, put a little bit of paint on them. And then we're going to get some Floetrol on the canvas. So Floetrol just kind of lets the string glide along the canvas a little bit better. And Floetrol does dry completely clear. So it is a great thing to use to do a second layer on a pour or to add some other techniques on top of an already dried pour because it does dry clear and it just gives you the kind of that fluidity that you need to kind of be able to glide the string across no problem. So I'm just making sure that my string, my yarn is covered in the paint here. And so it's good and covered. I'm just using a popsicle stick to just kind of stir it around and make sure all of it's covered. Now I'm just going to kind of set that aside and I'm going to get my Floetrol. So I just use regular flood Floetrol and that's what I primarily mix my paint with anyways. I have a lot of videos on my paint mixing and those are down below. So I've poured a little bit in a cup here because it's just easier to maneuver pouring it out of the cup than the big old jug. I'm just getting some down on the canvas and I'm just using my finger to spread it about. Uh, it does self-level pretty well. You want to get, I mean, it pretty smooth, but you don't have to worry about like brush strokes or anything like that showing up because it is, Flood Floetrol is uh, pretty well self-leveling. So I'm just spreading it about, and I don't need to get it everywhere, but mainly concentrated on this area I'm going to do the string pull on. Gonna just kind of get the main spread about with my hand. Then I've got this uh, clean brush here and I'm just kind of spreading it about, getting some of the ridges down. Just a normal, regular old brush, clean brush. And I'm just lightly just getting some of the brush strokes, the finger strokes out of there and not worrying about it too much because it will level and it'll dry clear. So, all right, now we're going to go ahead and we'll grab up that string. And I do have lots of videos, and I'll list those down below as well, on doing a string pull, on my tips and tricks on doing a string pull. But really, it's a very, very easy technique. So you just want to grab those out of there, make sure they don't have too much excess on there. I like to grab it with both hands and kind of guide it with the left hand in the, the place back and forth, back and forth on the canvas, then you're going to pull it parallel with your canvas. You want to pull it straight parallel with your canvas. You don't want to pull it at an angle, lifting up, pulling down, just parallel with your canvas. So then I'm just going to set that taller, that longer string aside that I did the middle taller one. I'm going to do a little bit of a shorter flower, abstract flower, on each side of that middle taller one, some shorter ones. I grab my shorter string, same exact technique, laying it down there, pulling it parallel with the canvas. Now I'm going to dip in, make sure I've got enough paint, and do one directly on the other side to do three there in the middle. Now this pearl paint does dry pretty translucent, so you're gonna be able to see that design peeking up through the bottom, which is real nice, but it gives it kind of also 
that something for the eye to kind of go to there without the background was lovely, but it just needed something a little bit more to pop off the canvas. And I think this did just great popping off the canvas. So here's a close up and you can kind of see how you can see the background through the pearl. But that, don't worry about that cloudiness. That is the Floetrol, and Floetrol will dry clear. Here in just a moment, I'll show some close-up pictures of the Floetrol pretty much dried all clear. You can actually see it here at the edges, the edges up at the top. It's already starting to dry. I put it pretty thin there because I wasn't working there. But you can see the background peeking up through, and then there's the string pull on the top. And then once the red will really pop up through once it's all dry. So here's some close-ups of it's still wet. It's close-up of the string pull. And it's got that nice shimmer of a pearl color. It's really nice. So you can kind of see it in that picture. And these are all still wet. And then now here's a picture of it almost dry. You can see the red is starting to darken and dry back up. Now here is the background is pretty dry and that pearl color is almost dry. So that is what it looks like to do a string pull on a dried background canvas. All right, thank you so much, and let me know if you have any questions. Just comment down below if you have any questions or any requests for any future videos. Thank you so much for joining me.